all that to say, the area that we are looking to move to is... Move! <laughs> What? <laughs> I've had this idea for a very long time that when we say it, we just put a really loud cow noise over it so people <laughs> won't hear it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's horrible. It is horrible. Hey everybody, it's good to bring out another video because we want to give you guys an update on where we are at with our process on moving to the US. In this video, we just want to share with you guys uh, the big challenge right now, what's holding us back and kind of what we've been doing in the last few weeks. But first, we went on a family getaway. In the mountains here in Austria, not too far from where we live. And we want to show some footage of that because it was amazingly beautiful there. It was actually voted, one, one particular place was voted the most beautiful place in Austria in 2018. So if you like seeing sceneries, stay tuned. How long will the footage be we need to wait? Yeah. That's right, that's why. On this beautiful walk here um, at a place that in 2018 I believe was uh, chosen as the most beautiful place in Austria and in the background there are it, um, people they're celebrating a couple's wedding there and <laughs> unbelievable spot this crystal clear turquoise river with this pond and then the wedding right behind it hope that the marriage will be as beautiful as this place. We had a really good time here at this little cabin in the mountains. Had to get away for a week, um, pray about a lot of things, think about a lot of things, make some decisions for our soon move to the United States and a new era in our life. And um, it was just really, really needed. Uh, we're gonna be heading back today and gonna attack some new things. Our laptop had been broken and in the workshop for over two weeks, which um, made it hard for us to make videos. I'm gonna be picking that up now um, in the next days. It's finally repaired. And yeah, we're excited to to continue in, the, in this new era and we will keep you updated on how that is going. So in our last few recent videos we have been talking about our upcoming move to the United States. Why are we moving to the United States? That's a loaded question. Lots of reasons. <laughs> that's, a, that's true. Yeah. There, there are lots of reasons. It's something that kind of developed over the last, what has it been now, six, seven, eight months? Mm, yeah. That, yeah, I'm not really sure. But, um, <coughs> I mean, it's a, it's a, it's something that is not too far-fetched. You are American, you were born and raised there. Um, all our children are American citizens and most of our family and friends are over in the US. For some reason we always thought that we'd be over here. Yeah, for, for I never, uh, since I moved to Europe, and I've lived in multiple countries here, but since I've moved here, I never ever thought that I would move back to the States. Um, yeah, for some reason, yeah. it, the time never seemed right. We we somehow thought we'd be here, but now we feel like God's been preparing us really for this move, and it just yeah. seems like the right thing to do. And and we're very excited about it. It's it's a bit intimidating some aspects of it, 
but we are really excited about it. What, and uh, maybe you can share a little bit of what we are planning on doing there. Our hopes um, for our new life in the States are that we can buy a piece of land, some property, and farm there, but not just for the sake of farming and also not just for the sake of growing food for our own family. We really feel like God's given us a desire and a direction, mm. passion for um, reaching people through regenerative mm. agriculture. Um, helping people. Helping people. Through helping the, them prepare. Yeah. Like it's much, much more than just farming or just growing food for our own family or even selling food to others it's it's <laughs> yeah j just um yesterday i i was on a phone call and uh, actually a zoom call with somebody who was asking me the direct question what is your specialty or what um, will you be <coughs> offering to people and um i was able to answer him because that is we feel that is something that has become more clear over the last months and over the last years really but the last months especially and um we really care for the farmers themselves, the people that are involved in this journey. Um, we, we love the farming, we love the practical hands-on experience and the theoretical knowledge. We love all of that and our YouTube channel has been a lot about that, but our heart is really for the people to build relationships with them and invest in them because if, if the farmer is not doing well, then uh, the farmer can't run the farm either. Yeah, and it doesn't matter how how great your farm is set up if you as the farmer are not able to handle certain aspects of your life your farm is gonna suffer as well but um, yeah yeah, yeah very, very true and, and, and this is something that has that is big for us because we have experienced this and it's kind of a bit like our life story and so we really want to not just help you know on one hand farm ourselves but but we don't just want to help people with the theoretical knowledge or even the practical experience but also you know a very much holistic approach also mentor them and help them on the journey in all aspects of life as a homesteader or farmer mm -hmm. that's really our our hope that we can do that we see it as um, our calling, we see it as our work, we see it as a ministry to reach out um, and we are really excited about them. We are working hard on preparing for that step but maybe we could talk next about the thing that is holding us back right now from from moving to the States and this is something we'd appreciate your prayers for. Yeah, um, he needs a visa. Um, as my husband he can get a visa and, and we're, we're, in we're in the process we're in of the it, process. but we're waiting for it. Um, and Corona and all everything chaos has, in has the U.S. Just has not helped. No, it pushes back things and uh, makes so, so many aspects of it take longer. Mm. Yeah, so so you and the kids, as American citizens, could just go there anytime. Actually, me right now, while we're in the process, we have applied for a visa. I would have a very, very hard time to even enter the U.S. at the moment because um, I have to wait for the visa. And it has been a long time already. And we are, um, we are quite confident that we should be getting the visa here within the next weeks or months. But they have been moving the date back further. Um, so, so that is really something. Um, it's quite chaotic. The USCIS does not have the best reputation of handling and processing these things. And um, obviously, we want to go the legal route of getting me into the country permanently. And um, hey, guys, um, you know, lift us up in prayer in that regard. Please do. Yeah. Because we have plans on when we want to move mm -hmm. and um, a timing which we will talk about in future videos upcoming here. But um, we, we hope that this visa issue won't interfere with that. Now to end this video, something that you guys have been waiting for for a long time, where we plan on moving to the United States. In the United States. In the United yeah. States. Where within the United States. Um, this, this is something we have thought about a lot. We have um, talked about it a lot. We've prayed 
a lot about it and really it came down to what we shared earlier with what we feel like our calling is for our work and ministry. This is close connected to an area in the United States that was first put on our hearts during our most recent visit to the US in 2018. And it became clear to us now in the last weeks really um, that that would be the area. And um, you're from Oregon, so mm -hmm. everybody has been assuming this. That for some reason we moved but there. We are not moving to Oregon. We're not moving to Oregon. It's beautiful there. We have lots of family and friends that we love there, but we have family in Utah. We have oh, family. Yeah. I don't even know. So many states. Yeah, so it's so not, many states. Yeah. But but this decision, you know, we want to be closer to Alex's parents. Actually, they are, and 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 our family in general is one major reason why we are moving to the states so that we can see each other more um, you know not just Alex's parents but but other family as well siblings and grandparents, siblings and, grandparents and, and all that but um, your parents have actually they live in um, Phoenix right now yeah. Arizona but you can share yeah more. we're not moving to Phoenix either or Arizona yeah my parents have also felt um, very drawn to this area um, for a long time. For a long time, long before we even had the idea to move to the States. <clears throat> so, who knows um, if they'll end up out there as well, but either way, just being in the same country, it will be much, much easier to see each other and um, yeah. they can fly out and visit us or whatever. But, all that to say, the area that we are looking to move to is... Moo! <laughs> <laughs> I've had this idea for a very long time that when we say it, we just put a really loud cow noise over it so people <laughs> won't hear it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's horrible. It is horrible. No. <laughs> Go ahead and say it. Okay. The area that we feel like we're supposed to move to is East Tennessee. And, and I think even more specifically, Northeast Tennessee. Um, and you know we we have somehow we have a real heart for that area and um m i don't think we can say more than that that we really feel god is calling us there i can say since i was yeah. a little girl i have absolutely loved tennessee and i always dreamed of going there and when we went um to visit my parents in phoenix the last time which was i don't know 2018 yeah, yeah. Um, we also took a trip out to um, North Carolina and also to Virginia and I didn't realize that we on our drive from North Carolina to Virginia that we would actually be driving through Tennessee and I was like hmm. a little girl excited um, that I we, remember that yeah that <laughs> was like we were just in the countryside it, there was no sign that said welcome to Tennessee but um, but um, I was like checking all the license plates in the driveways. I'm like, Simeon, see, they are. They say Tennessee on them. So, yeah, um, I've always been excited about that area. And that's actually, we, we fell in love with it when we were there. And that's actually the exact area that we are considering to move. So I think, yeah, I remember when we were leaving um, from that short little getaway that we took, um, you, you said that I told you um, that how come I could love it so much here and how could we have such good friends here but then we have to leave like yeah. like why would it be like that like kind of like it's not fair but um, it just it just seems amazing that God would actually have had that for us all along but for now not for then mm. um, in his timing yeah yeah little did we know um, I think a spark kind of was within us at that time and has now developed into a real passion and, and excitement for that area. But that's it guys, um, those are the two things we wanted to share with you today. Uh, the, the, the visa that we were waiting for and the area, the general area we want to move to and are planning to go to. And um, We we'll really, really appreciate your prayers though yeah. for this whole process. It's definitely, definitely. It's challenging. And um, we'll keep you guys updated. 
We'll keep you updated on the whole process. And thank you for watching and sticking with us. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.